Hello everyone, my name is Lena Krupina and today in the video I'll tell you about the latest news from the world of rhythmic gymnastics. By the way, you can see previous problems in the sports news playlist. I'll tell you how the conflict of the Swiss Gymnastics Federation and Bulgarian coaches has influenced the world of gymnastics, news about the teams of Italy and Spain, about the Cirque du Soleil, what happened to it and what does it have to do with gymnasts, as well as other interesting topics. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, make the red button grey. As well, subscribe to my Instagram. I talk with you a lot and tell you a lot of interesting things. Well, and let's move on to the topic of this video. Let's start with the most exciting and fastest news. Gymnast of the Russian national team left for the summer training camp. There is so far no particular information. There is no location either, which is most likely due to the fact that fans do not look for girls and do not come to the places where they are now. I think many of you have heard about Cirque du Soleil. In my opinion, this is one of the most popular popular circus that involves people only. They are remembered by the performances of incredible things. But what does gymnastics have to do with it? Cirque du Soleil is a long-time partner of the International Gymnastics Federation, and a huge number of all gymnasts worked in it, such as world champion Tamara Yerofieva, European champion and silver Olympic medalist Yulia Raskina, and Pan American champion Marie Sanders. In connection with the situation in the country and the pandemic, the circus filled bankruptcy and cut 3,500 jobs. Being in a difficult situation due to the coronavirus pandemic, in March, the circus was forced to stop its shows. Now the circus is in huge debt and is looking for fans to restart. But there is a chance that this will not happen. Write in the comments if you went to the performances of the circus and do you like their work. Myself, I only watched movies and videos on the internet and I always admired what they were doing. So it would definitely be a shame for me if the circus could not continue its work. Very interesting news about Lala Kramarenka. In one of the interviews, Lala said that during quarantine she studied passages of the poems. And the coolest thing for us that she shared her results. Lala posted on the network as she reads experts from the work of Alexander Sintgevich Pushkin. It turned out very cool. I am sure that many approve a pastime, so I won't even ask how do you feel about it. Alexander Sintgevich Pushkin Письмо Онегина к Татьяне. Предвижу все. Вас оскорбит печальное и тайное объяснение. Какое горькое презрение ваш гордый взгляд изобразит. Wow, another fresh new from the team of other countries have arrived. Talisa Tarieti, bronze medalist of the Jaffa Olympic game representing Italy, was invited to the national team in group exercises, which is preparing for the European Championship, which is scheduled for November in Kiev. Last year, Talisa won medals in international tournaments. Apparently this year, in order not to fall out of the competitive form, they decided to put her into a group. It will be interesting to see how long it lasts and whether it works out at all. Also, in addition to Alisa, Alessia Rusa, who also performed in the individual program, was invited to the national team. The news coming from Spain are slightly sad. Gina Sara Salaruani decided to end her athletic career at the age of 18. The gymnast performed for the Spanish national team and won the bronze medal in the team exercise at the Grand Prix in Tia in 2019. In addition, she took fifth place in the European Championship in 2018 and participated in two world championships. However, in her Instagram on June 25th, she wrote that she was returning to trainings. The news of her retirement appeared a bit later. The Ministry of Sports of Russia recommended the resumption of all Russian and inter-regional competition in subjects. The order was issued on July 8th, but Raspatrypnadzor at the end of June banned all public events until the end of 2020. So there was a misunderstanding of what will actually happen, whether the competition will take place in Russia or not, and who will decide this individually for each subject in that region, and the responsibility will be on this person. All this is especially strange, because in other countries this year competitions are already planned. Some without viewers, but gymnasts will at least perform. Right, what do you think about this? What will happen in the regions which gymnasts Gymnastics. Will there be competitions? Restrictive measures will be held until the end of the year. Another piece of news that currently does not concern rhythmic gymnastics but may concern the Danish Gymnastics Federation refused to host the World Gymnastics Championship in 2021, since the financial consequences of the pandemic have already made themselves felt, and farther on they think it will be even worse. Since the development of the virus still causes uncertainty, the Federation is also worried that due to the Olympic season, sports stars will not go to 
to the World Cup, which will cause losses during the competition. It is not yet clear what will happen to the World Championship in gymnastics, but there is a possibility that the World Championship in rhythmic gymnastics can be cancelled for the same reason, since the reasons are very justified and logical. Right, what do you think about this? Will gymnasts be able to perform at the World Championship and the Olympics in one year? And what is the probability that the World Cup will be cancelled? More than one video about the scandal of the Swiss Federation and Bulgarian coaches has already been released on my channel. What happened there and all the details you can find in the previous videos. But the scandal gave rise to a huge number of complaints from other gymnasts who talk about abuse, psychological and physical abuse. Forced training with injuries, improved cooperation with medicine, and the disgrace of the body, which leads to serious psychological problems, such as an eating disorder. All this forms a feeling of constant fear in athletes. Not only the rhythmic gymnasts, but also normal gymnasts began to talk about their stories. Write in the comments if you wanted to find out what's happening with them and what the athletes complain about there. In rhythmic gymnastics, more and more athletes began to appear, not only graduating from their careers, but also young people who talk about their experiences and not necessarily related to Swiss. Switzerland. And in Switzerland, the scandal continues to gain momentum. Two gymnasts appeared in a program on local TV, where they talked about psychological terror. One of the gymnasts also said together with her parents she applied to the Swiss Gymnastics Federation with a complaint about the coach of her behavior. But the Swiss Federation did not react in any way. At the moment, the Swiss Federation does not comment on this. According to the gymnasts, the trainers treated them like an empty place. They said they were dumb and fat. They made me lose weight, prevented me from drinking water at training sessions, and set everything up against each other. This performance led to the demand for the resignation of the leadership of the Swiss Gymnastics Federation. The article also mentioned the film Beyond the Boundary with Margarita Mamun as confirmation that gymnasts in the same group can receive different pressure from their coaches. For example, judging by the film, Jana Kudryavtsina did not receive pressure from the coaches. Therefore, girls who train under the leadership of Liana Dineva and Anelia Stanchneva are believed in Switzerland, despite the fact that there are gymnasts from their own team who claim that coaches do not abuse it. And gymnasts in Sweden protesting against the culture of silence and abuse of the rights of the coaches performed with a number, I will not be silent. This problem was raised there back in 2018. The gymnasts paid tribute to the people who were not afraid to talk about what's happening in the national teams. The Swedish Gymnastics Federation conducted a similar investigation in 2019 after reports of abuse rape psychologists. In their country, the side of the athletes was chosen, and in the final letter, the words were said It is not an honor to be a coach, but a duty applies to children and young girls in a good way. And the number turned out to be very touching and strong. Every day, the scandal leads to more and more details and this movement will soon resemble the movement of Me Too. Still waiting for your thoughts on this candle. It seems to me that my opinion is already constantly changing with the advent of new information. Well, and that's all from me for today. I love you all and see you in the next video. For now, goodbye. The video was translated and dubbed by Alexandra Sinica.